Good afternoon class. Today we are going to use paper and we're going to manipulate it and change it into all kinds of forms. We're going to create form with paper. Um, I'm going to show you a lot of techniques today. I'm just using some scrap paper I have at home. You're going to need some scissors and some glue. Okay. So we're going to start by making a cone and then a pyramid. So I'm going to need a square piece of paper. Mine's a little rectangular so I'm going to cut that part off. Um, I can draw the circle or I can simply cut off the edges. So I'm going to save that scrap for later. Cut off my corners and then round the edges. It's okay if it's not a perfect circle. Get rid of those scraps and we've got this. Now, from the center of my circle to an edge, I'm going to cut a line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the two pieces over each other like that. So you'll need just a little bit of glue. And I maybe even used too much there. So I've got my glue, turn it, and I'm going to have to hold it. That's going to be kind of something you see happening a lot today is that we're creating form and the paper is going to resist it a little bit. So you want to um, make sure that you're giving it enough time to kind of set in and let the glue dry just a touch. Okay, so there I have a 3D cone. Now a pyramid is similar, but a pyramid has three sides. And for this one, I'm also going to need a square. Cut some paper into a square. Um, not quite a square, is it? I'm going to fold this paper twice from corner to corner. So I'm going to fold up and crease, open it, up and crease. Again, it's okay if these things aren't perfectly folded. Now, just like with the cone, I'm going to cut one edge to the center. And on one of those folded lines, though, that part is important. Cut. And then one of these sides is going to disappear. So I'm going to push it like that, and I'm going to have a three-sided pyramid, a pyramid that stands up, right? So again, on one of the sides, just a couple touches of glue, dot, dot, not a lot. I show you the gluing for a reason, so please do it this way. And then I'm going to push down, give it a little bit of time to dry. When I want to glue these forms down to my final paper, um, what you'll have to do is just like a very thin layer on that edge, okay? Because um, these are going to be a little bit tricky to get to stay. Just a little bit on some of those edges. And then what I'll do is I'll push down and give it some time to dry, okay? All right, the next piece that we're going to do um, is we are going to create a cylinder and then a rectangular and a triangular prism. So any size paper will do. And for this one, um, the cylinder, I'm just going to roll it up like this. I'm going to curl the paper. If I want a small cylinder, I can make it smaller. Or if I want a big one, just like that. Here's our time to glue. Dot, dot. And then I'm going to close it and hold it. So you can see I have my fingers inside the cylinder pushing and holding. Now this, one of the tricks to get this to actually stay on that bigger piece of paper is to make a few cuts, like one, two, three, and then I'm going to fold down the sides, right? Oops, I didn't give it enough time fold down these sides and I could have cut a little bit less and then glue it down like that right so then I would put a little bit of glue here right there and perhaps glue it down to this right and pushing down I'm trying to do this quickly so I apologize that you're not getting enough time to kind of wait for those shapes to dry. So that's a good example um, of giving that cylinder enough time to dry before forcing it. Okay. Um, all right. So now we're on to our rectangular prism. So I want to take a rectangle and fold it into five sections. So one, two, three, four. Oh, look at that. I didn't get five, but you know what? I can make the triangular prism. 
Wait, yes, I did. One, two, three, four, five sides. So it's four folds will give you five sides. See the rectangle there? It looks a little like a square. One, two, three. And hold it. I got my fingers inside. And I'm pushing, applying pressure. Just giving that glue a second to set in and hold the form. Okay, and I'll give you a rectangular prism. Now, to create a triangular prism, you only want to fold the paper three times. So, one, two, three. Okay, so that gives me four sides because I'm going to need to double one of them up to glue it. And that's going to give me a triangle prism, triangular prism. The glue and hold. Folding, gluing, and holding, all very important parts of our steps today to create form with paper. All right, we've created cones. We've created tri uh, triangular prisms. We've created pyramids. We've created rectangular prisms. We have created cylinders. Now, let's see. Um, as far as these, I would use the same method, cutting on each edge or... Um, like the corner of the triangles and then folding it back and putting a little glue on those spots when you go to glue it down on your group paper, okay? Um, so I still wanna show you the zigzag spring, spirals, and weaving, so we've got three left. Um, for the spiral, I'm simply gonna draw a spiral line on a piece of paper. You can experiment with how tight or loose to make the spiral. Okay, and I'm going to cut on the line. I got a little close to the edge, so I'm not cutting quite on that line. So I'm kind of like turning the paper, cutting little by little. And it's already starting to gain some form. You can see that it's kind of like this. Um, and then if I pull it and stretch it out, it'll stand even taller. Kind of sits up like that. I can cut off these corners and make it look a little bit neater. That's going to look the best. Some of those straight, sharp edges. Boing, boing. All right, then I wanted to show you the zigzag spring. So for this, you're gonna need two long pieces. So I'm gonna take this one and this one. They're the same length, they're pretty close. Um, and we're gonna have one be the white side and one be with the side with my painting on it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of dot of glue to hold those guys together. And then I just need to keep folding them over and fold over. It's kind of like a little square shape that I just keep recreating. Fold, fold, fold. You keep going with this process until there is no paper left to fold. And then you've created a little bling bling spring. It's kind of cool. Um, sometimes these are called stair steps too. So I want to secure these last two pieces together. Push down. <laughs> um, and then, of course, to glue that to your paper, you would choose one edge to glue it. If you made it really long, you might even be able to like stretch it out and get a rainbow. It's kind of cool when you get it stretched out. Um, so that's another thing you can make. And finally, our paper weavings. Um, so I'm going to start with two pieces of paper. Um, ideally, these would be two different colors, and I'm going to create some strips to weave with. You want to try to be kind of consistent on their width and their length. Okay, um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my piece to do my weaving on. So it's going to be this one here. I'm using pretty small pieces of paper. I'll tell you, you'll probably be more successful if you use bigger pieces. So I cut, but not all the way to the top. I want to kind of have this as one piece of paper with pieces coming out. And now I'm going to go 
under and over, kind of like when we were weaving on those cups, if you remember that. Under and over. So you can see that strip of paper peeking through there. Now the next time I'm gonna start by going over and then under. Over and then under. Now this is a very mini example. And something I don't like about mine is that these strips aren't as long, um, long enough for my paper. So I would probably move these over, clean up these edges a little bit. So at least now this is like a completed weaving with the strips coming through, right? Okay guys, so we've talked about weaving, cones, pyramids, cylinders, zigzag springs, spirals, and prisms. I hope you enjoy creating paper manipulation creations.